The Helmholtz theorem of classical mechanics reads as follows Let H X P V equals K P plus Phi X V Display style H X P V equals K P plus Vafi X V be the Hamiltonian of a one dimensional system where K equals P two two M Display style K equals frac P carrot two two meters is the kinetic energy and Phi X V Display style Vafi X V is a U shaped potential energy profile which depends on a parameter V display style V let T display style left Langle CDO T right wrangle underscore T denote the time average let e equals K plus Phi display style e equals K plus Vafi T equals 2 K T display style T equals 2 left Langle K right wrangle underscore T P equals minus Phi V T display style P equals left Langle frac partial Vafi partial V right wrangle underscore T s e V equals log 2 M e minus Phi X V D X Display style S E V equals log oint SQRT two meters left E Vafi left X V right right DX then D S equals D E plus P D V T display style D S equals frac de plus P D V T topic remarks The thesis of this theorem of classical mechanics reads exactly as the heat theorem of thermodynamics. This fact shows that thermodynamic-like relations exist between certain mechanical quantities. This in turn allows to define the thermodynamic state of a one-dimensional mechanical system. In particular the temperature T display style T is given by time average of the kinetic energy and the entropy s display style s by the logarithm of the action ie d x 2 m 
E minus Phi X V Display style oint DX SQRT two meters left E var phi left X V right right the importance of this theorem has been recognized by Ludwig Boltzmann who saw how to apply it to macroscopic systems i.e. multidimensional systems, in order to provide a mechanical foundation of equilibrium thermodynamics. This research activity was strictly related to his formulation of the ergodic hypothesis. A multidimensional version of the Helmholtz theorem, based on the ergodic theorem of George David Birkhoff is known as generalized Helmholtz theorem. <laughs> <laughs> 